Hi guys, this is Barnaby Slater for Spurred On with Craig Vi and Craig Mitch. This is the second part of our 8-bit debate, debate, which this week is, has this transfer window been good or bad for Tottenham Hotspur? At present, Craig Mitch is up by four points to two and he is saying that it has been a bad window. Craig yep. Vi is saying it's been a good window. Craig Vi, you are about to counter one of Mitch's points. You can go again. Straight from the off, we are 15 million plus in the black from the sales of the players that we've got rid of. Yep. 15 million already in our pockets. Yeah, I'm going to give you a point there because that I do think that's a good point at this stage because, of course, we are basically trying not to spend any money because yeah. of the new stadium. Exactly. So uh, there's nothing I'd say to that, really. Uh, I wish it wasn't that way. I wish we, we had an oligarch, but we don't. We're getting this new stadium, so he's got to keep it on the level. Craig Mitch. All right, so if we, if I want to lower myself down to uh, Craig Vai's, um, you know, whole kind of opinion on this whole debate and just move on assumptions, uh, if we actually buy Berahino, which might happen, if we buy Clinton NJ, which might happen, if we buy Hernandez, which might happen, would we be in red? Would we? Because... Apparently, we're putting in 12 million for Hernandez. Apparently, we're putting 14 million in for Clinton. Apparently, we're putting 20 plus million for Barahino. So, where would all that profit be that you just mentioned? Right. Where would it be? Hold on. I'm, I'm just going to give a point to Craig Vi there because what? basically that is an argument based on assumptions. And I've already given yeah, you. Yeah, I just said, I just said, assumptions. if we're going by what he's yeah, been going by this whole thing. But that's, that. that's the yeah, irony yeah, of the whole thing. Bring it back to fact. The oh, fact okay. The Finally. For the last <laughs> few transfer windows, for at least the last three seasons, yeah. we have been in. In the black even in the gareth bale year by the way we were speaking upstairs earlier even in the in the year that we sold gareth bale to real madrid the other sales the other money are you going to speak about other transfer other, windows or this transfer players, window we could do that one another time that's if you want point for craig mitch uh, he's made a good point what now. transfer windows is he talking about, about other transfer windows i'm saying money in craig the kitty we're talking I'm about this money in the kitty window. and also, so it doesn't even matter if we go into the red five slide. points to craig mitch and it's your turn to make a point all right here's my other point okay we haven't made a big money signing this summer six points listen listen liverpool have bought ben tech Okay. Arsenal have bought Petr Cech. Flipping, everyone's bought a big... Man City's bought Sterling for 49 million. Where's our big money signing? If we're, if we're going to compete with these big teams, we need a big money signing. It doesn't have to be big money to it be a does, big signing. It does, because that's the market. I'll tell you who is a big signing for Spurs this season. is Toby Alderweireld. Okay, right, that's Chelsea, a been a great Chelsea signing. was seriously great after this boy, yeah. and he's decided to come to Spurs, and already our defence has been massively, massively shored up by his addition, by the addition of Trippier, by the addition of Vimmer. These players are going to stop us leaking goals. We leaked far too many goals it's last more season. More assumptions. We have all... It's more assumptions. It's assumption after assumption. Improved. We've already leaked a goal okay, against Man on. United. Hold on, I gave Craig Vi a point there. Uh, Craig Vi a point there, sorry, for uh, Toby Alderweireld. It is currently 6-5 to Mitch. You only need two points, Mitch, and you haven't won for a while. So let's see what you've got. All right, let's talk about the fact that we've moved all of this Deadwood and we haven't brought any players in. At the moment, our squad is thin. It's anorexic. We need a bigger squad. We're in Europe this season. We're in the Carlin Cup, the FA Cup. That is a point, we've, Craig. We've got to play in all these competitions and we've got rid of all the Deadwoods. It is a thin squad. Craig, why? How do you count that? We haven't got much options. I can count that quite easily. You, you're completely contradicting your earlier point where you were saying that we had too many players who were still at the club that we needed to move on. We need to get rid of Lennon. We need to get rid of all of these other players. Yeah, but they need to be replaced. Now the this, squad that's is my whole point. They've got to be replaced. I present Youth Watch, right? And I can tell you right now, there are some players. Name dropping a bit here, isn't it? Oh, that's my show. Academy, in the development squad and in the under 21s right. that can really step up to the game. Alex More Pritchard assumptions. Is going to be a big they haven't done it on the big stage yet. I don't know. You are. It's going to be a really class player. So is Anoma. So is Harry Winks. We have got a very good squad. Delhi Ali. We loaned him in the last window. Before you even do that, I've got one more point. I've got one more point. I've got one more point just to put the nail in the coffin. He's picked the casket. I'm putting the nail for it. Listen, let's, this is how we're going here. Yeah. The biggest story of this transfer window has been the future transfer of us moving from White Hart Lane to our new stadium. Where's the players? Why are we talking? talking about our new stadium so much. All right, yeah, it's a big deal, but we want to see players at the club. We don't want to be talking about a new stadium and have that as the biggest story of the transfer right. window. Hold really? on, Mitch. Basically, what has happened here is I had given Mitch the point to get to his eighth point, and then he insisted on fighting for another point to show that he had something else to say. And his point was so ridiculous there that I've taken <laughs> away the point I'd given. What? Well, it is now back to seven, point. five. How is that a pointless because, point? Because we have to think about the future of our club, not just right now. So I'm not going to let that be a point for you because we haven't spent that money yet. OK, all right, OK. OK, so we're at seven points to Craig Mitch. We're at five points to Craig Vi. Craig Vi, you've got to try and fight back because it's match point right now. Come on. Right. Positive recruitment policy. We are signing young players 
for positions that we have identified where we need to sign more talent, where we need to shore up those positions. Yeah, that's it. It's all over. Uh, it's all <laughs> over, I'm afraid. He was <laughs> digging. He was digging so bad he ran out of points They're to gone. make. He was They're banging gone. on about the same signings as far as I could tell. So, in an 8-5 victory, Craig Mitch, Woo! you are a, vic a victor again, a winner. Well done, Craig Woo! White. I'm lucky you fought hard, but, you know, more experience told. And uh, let's, let's hope... That's not the way it is for the Academy you boys who you went on about for six points there. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that makes it, I believe, overall. Reese James has three wins. Uh, Craig Mitch has two wins. I have one win and left with a duck after his debut is Craig White. Guys, let us know what you thought of their points in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. We'll be back next week for another 8-bit debate. <laughs> Welcome to episode 3 of Conspiracy Theories. In January 2005, on a brutal winter's day at Cold Trafford, 